Back in the 1970s, NASA introduced the world to a revolutionary idea, a reusable spacecraft with a reusable heat shield. The space shuttle was that bold vision, but there was a catch. After every flight, it took months of repairs and tile replacements just to get it ready again. Reusable? Sure, technically, but not in the way we need for rapid, affordable space travel. Even the, the shuttle, shuttle's heat shield required several months of refurbishment, basically fixing broken tiles, um, testing each tile. Fast forward to today, and a new generation of space pioneers is picking up where NASA left off. SpaceX and Sierra Space aren't just rebuilding what came before, they're rethinking everything. They're developing heat shields that are stronger, smarter, and built to withstand brutal re-entries. Not just once, but over and over again. So, how are they doing it? Which heat shield design is smarter, tougher, and closer to true reusability? Strap in, because in today's episode of TechMap, we're diving deep into the technologies, the materials, the design philosophies, and the battle to build a heat shield for the future of spaceflight. Let's go. Just how hard is it to create a reusable orbital heat shield? Well, let's put it this way. It's been nearly 60 years since humans started launching things into orbit, and no one has truly cracked the code yet. That's how tough it is. To really grasp the challenge, let's hear it straight from Elon Musk during the 2025 Starship update. Uh, one of the toughest problems to solve is the uh, reusable heat shield. Um, so, so no, no one has ever developed a truly reusable orbital heat shield. So the, the, it's extremely difficult to do so. Um, even the, the shuttle, shuttle's heat shield required several months of refurbishment, basically fixing broken tiles, um, testing each tile, and um, because it's a, an extremely hard problem uh, to, to be able to withstand the extreme heat and pressure of reentry. For Musk, a real reusable heat shield isn't one that works once. It's one that can take the brutal beating of orbital re-entry over and over again, with little to no maintenance. That's the gold standard, and it's exactly what today's space companies are racing toward, especially in a commercial space market that's all about speed and efficiency. So how do we actually build one? Step one, materials. You need something that can survive hellish conditions. Right now, we've only got two realistic contenders, advanced ceramics, like glass aluminum composites, and carbon-carbon materials. Why? Because they're insanely heat-resistant, with melting points way above the scorching thousands of degrees Celsius temperatures spacecraft face during re-entry. Elon put it plainly. But very, very little actually can survive the, uh, and, uh, with, with reusability, without, getting, uh, without eroding um, or falling off or cracking, uh, can survive the stresses of re-entry. It's not just SpaceX chasing this dream. Sierra Space is also in the game. In partnership with Oak Ridge National Laboratory, they're working on silicon carbide composite tiles for Dream Chaser. These tiles mix the strength of carbon fiber with the thermal toughness of ceramics, a modern take on the old space shuttle tiles. Step two, shape. Instead of the classic square tiles, it uses hexagonal ceramic tiles. Why? because hexagons fit tightly together, leaving no straight gaps for searing hot air to sneak through and damage the vehicle. This design also prevents hot gases from rushing between the tiles, giving Starship a serious edge in thermal protection. Step three, testing, the crucial battleground. When it comes to heat shields, SpaceX doesn't just believe in testing, they live by it. Testing isn't a one and done checkbox. It's a continuous loop, each Starship prototype goes through rigorous trials in both Earth-like and Mars-like conditions. Why Mars? Because that's where they're headed. These tests focus on key factors like how tiles are attached so they don't fall off mid-flight. How well they handle thermal shock, going from freezing to thousands of degrees in seconds. And how they stand up to erosion and oxidation during multiple high-speed re-entries. Every Starship flight brings new insights and every version of TPS gets smarter. Now compare that to Sierra Space's Dream Chaser. As of now, its thermal protection system hasn't flown in real-world missions. Does that mean SpaceX's shield is better? Not exactly. They're both cutting edge. 
but designed for totally different missions. Let's break it down. Starship is built for deep space, Mars and beyond, as you know. That means its heat shield must withstand brutal re-entries not just on Earth, but on planets with completely different atmospheres. Mars, for example, is mostly carbon dioxide. During re-entry, this carbon dioxide turns into plasma and releases free oxygen, which can aggressively oxidize, basically burn, the heat shield. That's why SpaceX is testing tiles in simulated Mars plasma environments, to make sure they can handle the extra punishment. The ultimate goal? A heat shield that's tough enough for back-to-back high-energy returns, with minimal fixes in between, like a space airline. Dream Chaser, on the other hand, is designed for Earth orbit missions like resupplying the ISS. It doesn't need to survive Martian hellfire, but that doesn't mean it's simple. Its TPS is engineered for at least 15 missions, with drastically reduced maintenance time compared to the old space shuttle which struggled to complete five missions a year due to intense tile repairs. Dream Chaser solves those issues using strong bonding materials like RTV silicone and modern composite tiles, building on more than 30 years of shuttle experience. This leads to the difference in their design philosophy. SpaceX had to think way outside the box. Their mission profile demands a revolutionary shield, something that's not just reusable, but almost maintenance-free across planetary returns. They took the shuttle's core ideas and pushed them into a whole new realm. Meanwhile, Dream Chaser leans into Earth-based reliability, taking shuttle tech and solving its known problems with smart engineering and material science. It may not be facing Martian plasma, but it still needs to survive re-entry again and again, safely and affordably. In the end, both SpaceX and Sierra Space are trying to succeed where NASA once struggled, making reusable heat shields that truly deliver. Starship's shield is tailored for extreme multi-planet missions. Dream Chaser excels in low-Earth orbit reusability and reliability. Even Elon Musk has admitted this is one of the hardest problems in spaceflight. And while SpaceX continues to iterate, Sierra Space is making serious progress in overcoming shuttle-era limitations. So now over to you, between SpaceX's interplanetary shield and Dream Chaser's Earth-optimized design. Which one do you think leads the future of spaceflight? Drop your thoughts in the comments. SpaceX's Starship heat shield is one of the most vital parts of the company's reusable spacecraft built to withstand the intense heat of atmospheric re-entry. While there's still a long way to go, SpaceX has made real strides in developing this critical component. During Starship's ninth test flight on May 27, 2025, things didn't go entirely as planned. A propellant leak caused the main tank to lose pressure mid-flight, which led the spacecraft to tumble out of control and eventually break apart over the Indian Ocean. Despite this setback, Elon Musk pointed out a silver lining. The heat shield tiles held up well during ascent with no significant loss, a clear improvement over earlier test flights. Unfortunately, because they lost signal with the spacecraft, SpaceX couldn't get the re-entry data they had hoped for, and their planned experiments with new heat tiles had to be scrapped. Musk has repeatedly emphasized that testing during re-entry is crucial to validating the heat shield design. This flight was supposed to help SpaceX test various tile configurations to see which one works best. Since that didn't happen, the company will need more test flights to gather the necessary data. Back in April 2024, Musk unveiled the next iteration of Starship, Block 2. This version has a redesigned heat shield, including a thinner forward flap design positioned more leeward to reduce exposure to re-entry heating. Simplifying the protective tiling, the new heat shield features advanced hexagonal ceramic tiles that can withstand scorching temperatures of up to 1,400 degrees Celsius, 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit. Beneath those tiles is a backup ablative layer, probably made of a tough composite like Pyron, for extra protection. Ahead of the fifth test flight in 2024, SpaceX completely reworked the heat shield. 
they swapped out the entire thermal protection system, installing tiles twice as strong as those on Flight 4. Technicians spent more than 12,000 hours on this upgrade, which also included a secondary ablative layer underneath the tiles to help the spacecraft survive if any tiles came off. This robust system is designed with Mars missions in mind, where the thin atmosphere and heavy payloads create unique re-entry challenges. Building a heat shield that's both orbital and fully reusable is one of aerospace's toughest problems. Musk has openly said that no one has ever made a heat shield that can survive the rigors of Mars re-entry. Steel didn't make the cut, it simply couldn't take the heat, so SpaceX went with ceramic tiles instead. SpaceX's work on the heat shield dates back to 2019, when they started attaching prototype tiles to the Starhopper test vehicle. Through 2020, they tested these small hexagonal tiles on early Starship prototypes, from SN1 to SN6, subjecting them to everything from cryogenic fuel loads to static fire tests and low-altitude flights. In the early days, SpaceX even considered using a liquid-cooled steel heat shield that would sweat methane to carry heat away. But by mid-2019, that concept was dropped. Musk announced the shift to ceramic tiles, similar to those used on the space shuttle, but in a hexagonal shape to reduce gaps and prevent heat leakage. Made from silica-based ceramic, these tiles are engineered for maximum heat resistance and minimal turnaround time between flights. In a symbolic gesture in February 2025, Musk gifted one of these heat shield tiles to Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi during a Washington, D.C. meeting. It wasn't just a gift, it was a symbol of SpaceX's cutting-edge tech. Looking ahead, SpaceX plans to ramp up Starship test flights to once every three to four weeks following Flight 9. Each flight offers more data and more chances to refine the heat shield until it's reliable enough for regular orbital use, and eventually Mars. SpaceX also plans to catch a Starship upper stage sometime within six months of November 2024. That maneuver will only be possible if the heat shield can handle the intense heat of re-entry and protect the vehicle all the way to recovery. This will be especially important for future uncrewed tanker missions, which will refuel other starships in orbit as part of the interplanetary travel strategy. Musk has bold plans. By the end of 2026, he wants to send an uncrewed starship to Mars carrying Tesla's Optimus robot. This mission will be another key test for the heat shield, putting it through the ultimate trial, Martian re-entry. Meanwhile, online discussions continue around whether Musk is overplaying the heat shield's challenges, possibly to lower public expectations or justify strategic changes, like the cancellation of the Dear Moon mission. While these theories are unconfirmed, they highlight just how closely the space community is watching.